comes from the battery goes to this uh, relay. This is actually from a snowmobile, I think. You can get it in Princess Auto. The relay is activated by this wire here comes from this relay here because it's connected to uh, a wire related to the fuel injection relay so that it's only hot when the engine is running. Not just when the contacts and when the ignition contact is on, but the engine actually has to be running in order for the uh, relay to actuate. Okay, so when the engine's running, the uh, relay actuates. You get uh, the upper. The upper wire becomes active, feeds current to the hydrolyzer through this 20 amp fuse. Now I hope to be able to crank that back to a 15 amp. Right now I'm using a 20. If it ever spikes past 20 amps, it shuts itself off. Okay, this is a male-female uh, connector here. You want to uh, remove the hydrolyzer from the car, you can just disconnect it here. And this goes to the device next to the uh, center stainless steel bowl. There, uh, there seven bowls all together. Three on either side of the center one. Uh, three cells on either side, each operating at about 4.6 volts. The electrolyte is a very weak solution of baking soda. I'm not using sodium hydroxide. I think that's a safety feature because uh, I'm avoiding the uh, caustic electrolyte for now. As you can see, still got the active hydrogen output. Here, got a stopwatch set up on a netbook. This has been running for 16 minutes now without blowing the fuse. It's up to full operating temperature. So that's about as much hydrogen as you can get. That's a huge amount of hydrogen. side there.